Brian Cooper was killed. Oh my God. When did they find out? I need to go call Evelyn and see if there's anything I can do. Oh my God, poor Evelyn. That night, I decided to go for a walk. The days were still long, and back then, kids could still go for walks at dusk without the fear of ending up on a milk carton. I went down to the big climbing tree in Harper's Woods. I didn't admit it to myself until years later, but in my mind was the shadow of a thought that Winnie might be there. She was sort of hugging herself and rocking slowly back and forth. There was a bit of a chill in the air and she didn't have a sweater. For a minute I was scared to approach her. I didn't know what to say. I had the strangest feeling. It was impossible for me to believe that Brian was dead. When I look back on it now, I feel sorry for Gary. When all was said and done, he was just a little kid. I guess he needed friends. But all Paul and I knew that night was that we wanted to go home. figure out what had happened to the vacations we used to take. When we did things together. And everybody was happy. That was ages ago. I was 13 now, and summer was almost over. All around me, people were having fun with their boyfriends named Chip. A lot happened on the beach in Ocean City that summer night in 1969. But of course, none of it was permanent. Oh, get up here. 
That's not wrestling. I'd never felt so lost in my life. I tried to make sense out of what had happened. I wanted to believe that Paul had lied to me, Winnie too. But somehow, I knew better. I'd been lying to myself. The funny thing is, now that I was sure about my feelings for Winnie, it was too late. There they were, my best friend and my best girl. I'd brought them together, and now I had no right to interfere. It was time to offer my congratulations. It was the decent thing to do. It's what Mr. Ed would do. Look, I'm sorry about what happened in gym. I guess I sort of lost my head, you know? Anyway, and for what it's worth, I hope you and Winnie will be very happy. this? I don't know. Look. I wanted to tell her that she was the only one, that she'd always been the only one, ever since we were little kids, ever since she lived across the street. I didn't know what to say to you. Winnie, it's not what you think. I never thought this could happen to me. Believe me, nothing's happened. Yes, it has. Kevin, I've met someone. What? Winnie Cooper was my first real love. She grew up in the house across the street. She was the first girl I'd ever kissed. And now, she'd broken up with me. But it wasn't until the next day that I understood what it all meant. This is all a mistake. Huh? What happened with Winnie and me? Oh, that. It's just a big misunderstanding, right? Wow. She's probably just mad at me, don't you think? Kev. Yeah? It's over. Broken I went for a walk. Traveled streets I'd once known. Long ago, when life was simple in the sky street the gray 
I guess that's when I knew the old days were gone. Things had changed, and they were never going to be the same again. Mm -hmm. 